DIY, DIY. DIY. Did you make a cut out of bricks? Yeah, bro. Different, different cuts. Yes! Yes! The coals are more expensive than the grill. Yeah. Plus, with all these extra bricks, I can make a pizza oven, I can make a house, yeah. part of a house. Yeah. But I want to see what you think about the performance. Okay. You know, music easy, is kind of loud. I'm going to tell and turn yeah. it down a bit. Hey, guys, we're turning your music down. Do this. Okay. Day three, final last day at Wee Bus Inn. This awesome, awesome food crater meetup event here in Seattle. I'm here again with Grant. The other day, we are basically making skiers. But today, now, we have a unique setup right here. What's going on here? What's <laughs> you never seen this before? I've this? seen it online. You've seen, it, seen online. it online? What are you someone, like, oh, that's... Someone told me about that oh. there, this is happening they here. They saw a video Chef. and they were like, hey, you can totally go check it out. Yeah. So basically, I've got this series on YouTube where it's kind of like DIY, you know, smoker DIY, pizza oven, hot rod pizza oven thing. So it's $20 or 25 bucks worth of bricks from like a home supply store. And it's how do you take what you know about an oven or a hibachi grill or a pizza oven or a pib and then make it out of bricks, you know, for dirt cheap. So like these are amazing, these are great, right? Fire brick and everything, mm -hmm. but they're, you know, they cost a pretty penny. I wanted to make one, you know, for 20 bucks. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on how well it works. So we got a bunch of skewers. You've been teaching me how to level up some yakitori skewering. Yep. Try this, try I wanna that. see if we can get these rods on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. These I'd, rods. I'd love to use your rods. I've been envious of these, and like you're traveling with them. Uh, so that's a big level don't up. Know the, the, the reason why I cook with the rods, skewers, they balance on top of these and then the meat stays afloat. It's not being pressed down mm. into basically the grate. When it's pressed down, you do lose a little bit of the juices because yep. of the because yep. of the weight. Yeah. Where does one get bars like this? Uh, you can just like just as long as it's stainless steel. Let's see if we can go all the way through. Yeah, let's get it. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, yeah. That works enough, huh? Okay. And you can move so it that, around, yeah, and then, then you can... go from here to here. Yeah. That's one level up right there. Get the bar. Get I love the it. Bars, get, get the bars. Get the bars. The bars. The bars. I just realized even one bar is enough as long as you use the edge. I'm uh, so glad you came with two edge. bars. <laughs> yeah. So we got we got the bars. This, what do we want to uh, skewer? Just like let's do a few different cuts. Chicken tenders here. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Skin is a good test uh, for like for like airflow and heat because you know if, so much if, oil coming off. If fire causes like a flare up, right? Kenji, Kenji in the house. <laughs> Cheers. Right, Thank you. you. Learned so much. Yes. <laughs> Wait, no spraying the sake with the skin? Oh, so I don't spray sake on the skin because we want the skin to become very very crispy. Mm. Sake is adding extra un unnecessary moisture to it. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go with some negima. So on both sides. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do sake on the just on meat the non, side. Yep, meat side. Meat side. I, I do the skin side down first, just to kind of let it like sh shrink up a bit. So mm. yeah, we can do that on this side right here. But We're in business. Let's do some wings. I love the wings. I like the butchering of the wings. We've worked on a Dude, lot. Dude, I knew. Now you guys, we gotta keep going on more. Uh, we gotta, look at this. We gotta look at feed. These we gotta feed the crowd yeah. here. Skin down. I'm going skin down again. Oh, dang. I, I love also, it. I also try to suck a spray. Yeah. Let's do a side by side. <laughs> Wings. Check this out. Yeah. Okay. Classic versus DIY. I'm already look. noticing this side, this is running real hot. Yeah. Because this is already like kind of like one third's done. Yeah. You know? Is so, that good or bad or what do you think? Uh, you gotta just yeah, adjust. Yeah, you gotta manage you, it. You gotta just adjust. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, I'm very excited about the skin. You have some, uh, you have some oysters, no? Uh, I don't think I have any oysters okay, over here. Let me give you I'm some, not seeing any oysters. Let me give you some oysters. All right, all right. Yeah. It's working. It's yeah. So we got flare up, flare up. Mainly because we can't. There is a, there is a hole here. I guess yeah, I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot I it. Should, uh, but you know what? I have my brick. Somebody took. Oh, it's my bricks here. So oh, I do a, I do a hole like this. Look. Oh, oh, like, yeah. Like Look. Yeah, a little less. Oh man! See, I was gonna, I was gonna make. You're gonna clown on that? Yeah, I was gonna make. No look, no hole. But well, yes, you're right, you're right. Look, a little bit of vent. I can make one over there, okay. but I did that's, none today. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, he likes that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. DIY. 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 <laughs> so there's a cut. I think there's only one left over there that I saw that I'm waiting for. The belly. Which one? Yeah, both of these are bellies. Yeah, okay, maybe. We can, we can belly it up. <laughs> I'll salt it for you. Mm, so yeah! Head, can have a knee cartilage. Mm. Do we have like one of every cut pretty much going now? Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
When you're like cooking a bunch of different skewers, uh -huh. or like a yakitori chef's cooking a bunch of skewers, and they got a million going, mm -hmm. you you feel like their main thing for managing the doneness of every single cut is just experience an eye and they're pinching it and looking at it. Because every cut's different. Yeah, but color could tell a lot. The shape changes as yeah. it like cooks uh, up, like, like yep, you know, yep. shrivels up a bit. So yeah, yeah. Shape shift in yakitori. Now we got our full on side by side here. One, two, three, yeah. four, five. We got two wings, six, yeah. seven, eight cuts. Yeah. We've got breast. We've got, oh, I got two bellies. Oh, I got a belly, I got a skin. I got wings, thighs, drums, breast. What's this one? These are the, I call it a tender AF. We've got uh, oysters. The inside or, oh, these oysters. Oyster, are the inner thigh, and tail. Mm. All the softest parts. Tail, huh? Yeah, chicken tail. Some people call it, wrongfully call it the butt. butt the but butt? It's not really the butt. It's a, it's a you know. It's yeah, a, it's, a, it's right it's above a, the butt. A, there's a tailbone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, it's actually where the, the birds keep like the oil gland to help Ooh. like basically coat their feathers to make it uh, you know waterproof. That's why it's very, very, very oily. Mm, 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 mm. What about wings? What do you think we're going for here? Uh, those are pretty much... They look good, yeah, huh? They're... So here's my logic. I've got like a little little resting zone yeah. over here. Skin, I think I'm going to take my skin off. What do you think? I think that's good, right? Yeah, maybe the other little side. Little more a little on that side? A little crispier? On side, yeah. I got a little crispy and hot zone. It's because we didn't do chicken skewering, so it's much more. Quick. This video is much more quicker. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we've done yeah, the hard work the last couple days. Oh, Son of a... yeah, that's all you got. Hey man, I feel like you were. Uh, I'm, I'm sabotaging you. Yeah. No, no, no. You gotta constantly. That yakitori is like an active. It's active cooking. I love like, it. Yeah, you gotta like constantly just like hotline. Like yeah, like move hmm. around. Mmm. Yeah, how often you just like grab the sake spray and like. Tss, tss, in the mouth? Uh, not that often. Not that often? Because uh, I'd rather be drinking the better sake. Better sake. <laughs> so this is just like sake for spray? Yeah, sake for spray. All right, yeah, the wings are coming. Active cooking. Active cooking. That nice. I think we're doing golden. pretty good though. Yep, yep. No, this is, this is working. Oh, you like it! I'm not gonna <laughs> carry bricks around though. Oh, uh, yeah, but you carry one of these around? Yeah, they, you fit, do? they fit in my car just fine. Yeah, but you know, if you have to like, oh no, all of a sudden my top pop-up turned into like a pizza pop-up, then you can like, you know, flip a pizza. <laughs> or we can use one of these Breville. Yes! Breville pizza. Oven. Exactly. The pizziolo. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. What, they don't even like that? Yeah. You want perfect, perfect golden, not even a teeny yeah, char? Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. right, all right, all right, all right. All right, little, little, little teeny char is okay, but that's, that's, all right, yeah. All right. I got you. Mmm. Sour plum. Mmm. All right. Huh? Brick versus manufacturer one? Oh, manufacturer. Woo! I think it's good one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 <laughs> Whoa. What's this? Wing? You gotta, you gotta oh, wow. take off the this bone. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess you fed me yesterday, so. so. Mm. So you debone it right on the yeah. while it's right on the skewer. Yep. Oh, and that's why you put the skewer behind the both bones. Pulls yeah. off. Pulls off. What do you guys want to try a yakitori wing? So we got it. I got the best for you. What do we put on the? That's straight skin. That's my favorite. I'm gonna let you have it. What do we put on the skin? Yeah. Is all we need. Right here. What do you think? Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> this is the man right here. Yeah. That's good. Mm, salty too. Right? Yeah, yeah, just like chewy, oh. crispy skin. I love it. That's my favorite. For the cameraman. You want to try? Yeah. Two. Good. Different, different cuts. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, and Yaki Jordi guy, I think he like kind of approves of it too. He's like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. I've been waiting for this one. The belly? Oh, but you already ate it without it. Yeah, you don't need, honestly, you don't really need extra sauce. This is know? my favorite. This is yeah, yeah, the chicken yeah. belly. I'm learning how to get a chicken belly cut from Yaki Jordi guy. It's my new favorite cut. Like chewy, sweet, salty, crunchy. I love it. I love it. Mm. Oh my God. God. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the whole point is you want to put it all the way in. You gotta kind of shake it because we don't want to waste the cutting. So all the way. So not yet. All the flavors are gonna go back in here, right? Then we char we caramelize it. One more time. On the grill. Yep. But what makes yakitori tada special is every time we're dipping the skewers in, all the smoky chicken fats go in here. And those flavors have like a compound effect over time. It just gets deeper and deeper and deeper with smoked flavors. And we put it back on the grill, let the sugars caramelize, and then we're gonna dip again to create sort of like layers on layers of more tare. Negima and tare. 
Cheers, Cheers. Benji. It's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be super juicy. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! That's yakitori. I'm a yakitori guy. So, I learned a lot. I learned some new cuts and some new techniques. I got the bar. I got the chicken belly meat. Yeah. You like my vent? It's not too bad, huh? I I think for you know if you have the, you have the outside area and you can get these bricks, it works. It works. It works. <laughs> I, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I was pleasantly surprised that you can make yakitori on this. Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. That warms my heart. How many bricks do we have in here again? Uh, 19, I think, or 23. Okay, so you got 23 bricks. Build your own. I believe the, the instructions are on the chef steps. So check the chef steps. Learn how to build this in your backyard. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend also to getting some grates and some bars, then you'll have everything you need for yakitori at home. And so. follow Yakitori Guys Instagram and YouTube to learn how to actually butcher right. and make some epic yakitori. One last, one last one. Cheers. All right, thanks Yaki Gang. Woo! Mm. Ooh! Ugh. That's hot. Ooh. Yum. Yakitori wrap. Did you make the Colorado bricks? Yeah, bro. And Yakitori Guys. Thank you.